Good day, guys. If you're new here, welcome and howdy. Like and subscribe. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. Moment of silence for the haters. That's enough. Okay, tonight I am doing the swatch of the Ohuhu watercolor kit. Color swatch one. And I have already put uh, water in my aqua pen. And I come over here and just. Can you see this? It, it don't even take much to. Okay, this is color number one. It's like. It's like an eggshell. I know one thing, it's opaque. Because it, it, it covers the black lines. Look at that. It's like not quite white. But yeah, that's cover up that black in a minute. Okay. I just have to make sure you guys can see it. Okay. There's no numbers or names anywhere, so I can't tell you. These are really vibrant, bright and vibrant. I may have to put some numbers on these. Ooh, that's almost neon. It probably is. I have another water deal over here that I rinse it off with. Okay, um, the next one. Can you guys see this? I hope so. And I mean, the water don't have to but barely touch it. And it picks it up. I like these. Oh my god. You know, if I put it on here thick, they would cover up the black lines. Even that lightest color down there. And, uh, uh oh, my aqua brushes are from uh, Mr. Pen. And they come in a six pack and you get from the finest of tips see how fine that is it's a really fine tip so it goes from that and it works itself up to This one, or when you want to get the job done and get it done now. That's a big old brush for watercolor. And the bristles are soft. They're not splaying out and causing me any problems so far. Um, thought I'd review those two while I was at it. <clears throat> and by Mr. Pen Water Brush Pen. They're cheap, okay? Anything I got, you know, it's going to be cheap. Okay. Color number four. I mean, you just touch this water paint. And it's off to the races. And 
I know my arm is a shaky. Very shaky today. Been seeing double all day. That's some thick right there. It be thick. Rinse it out. That's a thick one there. I like the opaqueness of it, which means I can just, instead of erasing some of my sketch lines and leaving eraser boogers everywhere, uh, it means I can uh, just paint over it. Uh, I don't think their card's gonna hold up too much, but I'm swatching it anyway. You see any these? I hope you can see the paint. Uh, it's pretty well balanced there. I like it. Hands are shaking. Uh, I hate it when they shake like that. I do like the colors. And um, the color scheme that they have picked out for this palette is really nice. I mean really nice. Liking it. Can't find nothing wrong with it. Oh. Not yet, anyway. There's always that, um, I'm waiting for it to happen. Right down the road, it's supposed to happen. Wow. Okay, that was thick, too. I do like the thickness of these paints. But the thing of it is, see, you can make it thick. Or as thin as you want. When you when you got paint that acts like this, I could mix it, make it real dark up here, and then you know go down there and make it lighter with more water. It don't seem to. Run out of water too fast either. You see, we're in this one now. I hope you guys can see because I can't. I can't see through my viewfinder. Mix that up thick. Oh, looky there. Looky there. It's still kind of thick. Come on. Yep, it's thick. and do this. I could. See how that stick there? Can y'all see that? Mind frame? Oh, not. Sorry that I have not been in frame. I can't see what I'm doing. And I don't know. Oh my god, guys, I don't know. Now can you see that? 
I don't know how to do this. My desk ain't big enough. One thing. And I need to clean it up. Again. And you know like some of those watercolor pigments you have to um put water on it and let it set. Ooh, look at that. It's like camel brown. Nice. It came out good too. But like uh, uh the cheap brands you don't see that. Um, you have to put a drop of water on the paint and let it sit there for a minute before you, uh, these are not that way. I knew, oh, uh, hoo markers were good. I knew these were going to be good. So, <clears throat> I need to put this. Okay, we're in this one now. You know, that looks almost metallic. I think it is. I think that's metallic. Didn't say if it had metallic in it though. But that looks metallic. Hmm. But it sure looks metallic. And I still don't know if y'all can see. Good lord. I could see doing a, a ocean and beach uh, picture with these. I really could. Nice. It, I'm loving these. These are so good. Oh my god, these are so good to work with. I'm tired, guys. But this was worth me <laughs> coming in here. Oh my goodness. It's just. I've never had paint that would do that. Well, on this one now. Like I said, most times you have to put a drop of paint on it. Let it sit. And then and then pick up your color. I know I'm getting outside the lines and it irks me too. Hey, there's that one. <sighs> yeah, these are nice beach colors. Um, ocean colors. Oh, that's what I see in it. I mean, <laughs> what it is, whatever you see is what it is. See, they're so thick. 
I can put them right next to each other without them bleeding into each other. Now that's, that's good. Yes, they're a little thick. But you know what to do about that? Thin it out. Thin it out. Thin it out. You ought to be heading into some of the pretty ones. In a minute. Takes more time cleaning to get the brush. <coughs> more oranges. I've just not had any paint in my entire 57 years do like this. What kind of magic is this? Watercolor paint. Y'all probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Watercolor. I know, but it's acting like It's not nothing like I've ever seen. Did I just do this one? Now you see how you could get the feel for a, a beach scene or um, ocean with the beach and the waves. And, oh yeah. Um, I just tell you guys, I've never, never seen anything like this makes it as thick as you want it or as thin as you want it and check it out it's not bleeding into each other and this is watercolor I mean I'm sure if I wanted it to it, it would but I mean look watercolor and it's not drifting off into each other's lanes. I've never seen anything like this. What kind of witchcraft is this? Mm mm mm. Mm. Witchcraft. Oh now now we're getting into the colors that I love the best. I love pinks. I love all kind of pinks. Reddish pink. Hot pink. Shot pink. Powder pink. You name it. I like it. If it's pink, I like it. There we go at that. That's just pretty. Yep, it is. I love this set of paint. That off white. Are you okay over there? What are you choking on? You been in somewhere you shouldn't have been? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go with some more pink. And like I said, look how they're not going into each other. Um, I'm used to putting watercolor down 
and wet just like this and whatever color was next to it would seep into it. No, not with this stuff. I hope y'all can see all this. I'm trying to do it where, where you can. Um, like I said, some of these are so opaque that you can cover up my sketch lines with it. Oh, pity. I think we're getting into the violets now. I see all kinds of capabilities with these watercolors. And I used to work with watercolor a long time. When I was in high school, and that's been a while. So, there's something I want to see when I get this here. Okay. It looks like an orange or red. A red orange. And a lot has to be said for these water pins too. Um, yeah, I went out of line. Like I said, if I wanted this to go off in there, all I'd do is go up and touch it. That's all I would have to do. They are pretty, that's for sure. Beautiful, beautiful set of watercolors. They're just beautiful. But like I said, there's a lot to be said for these brushes. They're by Mr. Pen. They're called Water Brush Pens. And it's a six pack and it comes with different sizes. Oh, I'm so tired. It comes with different sizes. And, um, so I, a lot of it, I believe, is this brush pen. Holding the paint, but you gotta say this you gotta give a hoo hoo a lot of credit, and it surprises me that a hoo hoo to be cheap just actually just blows me away. They could charge way more than what they're charging for these and people would pay it so I'll tell my voice I'm tired I'm tired And I get this swatch. I want to see something. I love this palette they have put together. These colors. They're just awesome. <clears throat> This looks really red, like brick red. Why not me? Oh, that's red. Red violet.
Yeah, we got one that's like orange red. And I love how I can make them as thick as I want or as thin as I want. I can have them butt up against the color or I can have them go into each other. Yeah, I did that. I did it on purpose. Okay. I hope y'all seen all this so far. Um. So this is what the slot sheet looks like. This one. We, you know, we still got another one. I'm not going to do it tonight. But um, here's slot sheet number one. All done. Yeah, what I want to do is look at the back. Okay, here we go. This isn't the best paper in the world. Okay, I'm telling you. But it didn't bleed through. Not even the water. My, some of that is probably because of the brush pen. Um, you know, it's holding it. Until you push it for water, it just holds it. So, I would say... Oh no. That's pretty good. I love the colors. We still got more to go. I'm gonna let this dry. And, uh... Okay. She's clean. So, let me know what y'all think about the colors and, uh, and how well, how thick you can get them or how thin you want them. Um, and uh, like I say, I do credit these brush pens were a lot. Um, they're, they're not just steadily leaking water out like a regular brush. It, it holds the water in until you squeeze it. And you squeeze it and it leaves a little drop and then you paint. But you can just get it on your tip of your brush and then just uh, go for it. And you don't have to squish the water if you don't want to. You just leave your butt with your uh, uh and I'm 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 happy about that. Like I said, this this uh, this stuff right here ain't Uh, that paper ain't really great, so for them to come out like that on this old paper, it's trying to warp up, lump up, but I hope y'all were able to see all this. Um, my problem is I can't see the viewfinder. I have to use the phone to record with and... So I can't see it. <laughs> but let me tell you guys, I really, I'm really impressed with these. I really am impressed. Um, they'll go on thick and creamy if you want them to, and 
you see how I've done it, you know, and without it bleeding into the next color. Um, I, I'm very impressed with these. I'll buy them again. You dang well bet on it. Um, so with that being said, it's my bedtime and I need to go lay down and get some rest so the aides can come in tomorrow and badger me and <laughs> I'm just so tired of sometimes the crap people do especially when they think <laughs> they're smarter than you and you should obey them at any cost. No, he's nurse. No, mm -mm. I used to be a nurse too, so you ain't nursing me. Tomorrow, if I'm able to, I will do swatch two, which will take us into the the tens, the browns, the greens. And the blues and more brown, black, purple, silver. Anyway, we we will if you want to. I will come back tomorrow and do swatch two. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with this beautiful, beautiful colored swatch from beautiful colored watercolor. Um, you know what I'm going to say now. I love y'all very, very much. You know that. I love every one of y'all. And I appreciate you. I really do. And, um, I'm going to say peace out. Pray for Ukraine. Bye.